Hi, Anthony from Retail Edge. This is the third video in our series on setting up security. If you've not seen the previous videos, I've left links to them in the description below. So you finish creating your clerks with the action list levels. Now you may want to adjust the independent action list levels themselves. To do that, select tools, settings, locations, and modify your location. Under the security tab, select edit action list. Now, let's say I want my clerks to no longer be able to view cost information on the inventory manager. In the category, I'm going to select inventory. And then under the show costs, I'm just going to move that out of the clerk range. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that. Save the changes to the action list. And while I'm here, I am now ready to turn on security. I'm going to go ahead and do that and select save. Now, Rage Ledge is going to prompt you for the admin username and password. So if you remember, I created that Betsy admin. I'm going to go ahead and put that information in. And likewise, take note here. This is why I, I recommend it if you're using a touch based monitor to maybe use a numeric value because Retail Edge has the number key there for you on the screen. Uh, but if you have a keyboard, then that really doesn't matter. I'm going to exit this and now if I go into inventory manager and let's say I'm going to use the the regular clerk I created if I scroll to the right here in inventory manager there is no cost information and now if I try that again with my admin clerk if I scroll to the right my cost information does show now, there's something else I want to point out is the two different types of security modes that Retailage has. Right now, we're in clerk-based security. So whatever function I click on, like inventory manager, I'm going to get prompted for my clerk ID and password. Let's say if instead of the workstation being shared between clerks, it's more of a back office system and it could be quite annoying having to consistently enter that your clerk ID and password. So to change the security mode, go to tools, settings, Workstations, once again, put in my clerk ID and password. Modify my workstation. And I'm going to switch it to workstation based. And the lockout period is, uh, according to the inactivity, how long the system has is not being used. Uh, Retail Edge will then prompt the security screen after that time period. I'm going to leave that at 15 minutes. Hit save and put in my clerk ID and password. Then you can notice at the top, now it says clerk name. So you can see the clerk who's currently logged in. There you have it. That's uh, editing the action list themselves and implementing security. I hope you found this information useful. And if you'd like more information, you can visit us at retailedge.com. If you like the content we're putting up, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.